Alzheimer's is a progressive disorder that gradually causes a decline in memory and language skills and eventually the ability to care for oneself. The risk of developing the disease increases as people grow older. In Wisconsin, the Dean Foundation is one of a dozen research groups working with Alzheimer's patients to see if the drug Dimabon has long-term effects. Dr. Leslie Taylor heads the study. It won't be a cure, but hopefully it'll work much, much better than anything that's out on the market right now for Alzheimer's. Ivanka Graberick was diagnosed with Alzheimer's last June. She has been in the clinical trial. But she and her husband, Bill, do not know whether she is taking Dimabon or a placebo. Bill Graberick spoke by phone about the study. He believes it is important. It's slow and it's uncertain, but I feel generally the, the public benefit, too, from just the data we're helping generate. Dr. Taylor says earlier trials showed that Dimabon improves memory for a year. It would really be huge. It would be um, entering into a whole new territory for treating Alzheimer's disease. This final stage of testing will last about two years. Then the U.S. Food and Drug Administration will decide whether to approve the drug for all people with Alzheimer's. Deborah Block, VOA News.